We will be looking at converting between logarithmic and exponential equations. This is the first skill in exponential and logarithmic functions, Alex College Algebra. Let's take a look at a problem in Alex. And what they say here is to rewrite this expression as a logarithmic equation. So before we do that, let's spend a few minutes talking a little bit about what a logarithm is. First of all, a logarithm is just another name for an exponent. So let's look at some examples here. First of all, we know here that 2 to the third power is 8. And we say here that this number 2 is the base, that this number up here is the exponent. From now on, we will have this idea that we're talking about a logarithm, and a logarithm is just an exponent. So here we can say the logarithm is 3, because a logarithm is an exponent. Okay. Now we look at the next one. 5 to the third power is 125. What's the logarithm? What's the exponent here? And you would say 3. Over here, log to the base, uh, well, the uh, 10 to the third power is 1,000, so the logarithm here is, yep, 3. Now, we can sort of guess there has to be a little bit more to this. So it's true, a logarithm is an exponent. But another way of thinking about this is a logarithm is a function. It's a function that we take a, a particular number, in this case, 8. So we're going to use function notation here with parentheses. The logarithm of 8, the logarithmic function of 8 is 3. But as you might guess, we're going to have to specify uh, the base here. So the logarithm to the base 2 of 8 is 3. Likewise, we can say that the logarithm of 125 is 3, but to not confuse these two, we would have to specify down here that the base of this logarithm is 5. So these expressions here say exactly the same truth. It's just that one of these is in exponential form. Over here, we have logarithmic form. And as you might guess on this last one, log to the base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. Now here's a shortcut. Whenever we have base 10 logarithms, we will simply write LOG without a base. Leaving the base blank implies that that logarithm base is 10. So we will say the log of 1,000 is 3, no base specified, so 10 is understood. Let's go back to Alex here and look at the problem that they have given us. And so using our notes here, we can immediately see that the base of this system is 7. So we can fill that in. The number that we are talking about, the number that we're taking the function of, is the 1 7th. So we can specify that here. And notice once again, what is a logarithm? Well, it's an exponent. And so in our case, our exponent is negative 1. Let's check that. And let's do another one just to be sure. OK, as we look at this once again now, notice that we have this one as a logarithmic function or an equation. So we want to convert that back to exponential. Once again here, the logarithm is 2. The exponent is 2. So up here, we have to put the 2 because it's the exponent. Once again, the base of the system is 3. That's going to go here in exponential form. And of course, 3 squared is 9. So that fills in there. And that's what we have. So this is converting between logarithmic and exponential equations in Alex College Algebra.